Minshew escapes from the pocket, scrambles to his left, and he's sacked at the 49-yard line. Patrick Queen will end the offensive series for the Jags. Burrow will throw. Tries to escape, hit, and is wrecked at the 50-yard line. Ball comes loose. Patrick Queen comes up with a recovery. My goodness. Baker Mayfield wants to throw. Patrick Queen comes on the blitz and sacks Mayfield back at the 45-yard line. The first NFL sack for the Ravens' number one draft pick, Patrick Queen. All right, our next guest was the 28th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft. He led the Ravens with 105 tackles. He just spent the last block listening to us talk about the Steelers and Browns reaching for a paper bag. He was <laughs> so grossed out. He watched that montage totally stone-faced. Please welcome to Good Morning Football, big-hitting linebacker Patrick Queen. Hey, how y'all doing? Hey! Oh, no smile, Patrick. Come on, give us something. Just a little something right here. <laughs> All right, Patrick, our guy Adam Rank listed on NFL.com his breakout stars for this year. You are on that list, but let me ask you, after a year with 105 tackles, what's left? What more breaking out do you need to do this year? Uh, I'm not a complete player yet, so uh, it's a lot of stuff I had to clean up from last year. So being a breakout star pitcher for next year, uh, you know, it's kind of it's kind of a humbling thing and exciting thing as well, just to get to prove everybody that I am a star. And um, you know, it's it's a lot of stuff to clean up, like I said, but we're looking forward to the season that we're about to have. So. Patrick, we love having you on. You're one of our frequent guests. We remember the 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 chop busting you were doing with Devin White about. Oh, I don't know, fishing and then riding on horses and all sorts of things like that. But two of your mates from this past season in Baltimore are no longer there. Yannick Ngakwe and Matthew Judon both moving on. We're one of the shows of many that are talking about the Browns as the team to beat. And then there's the Steelers. Tell us about this Ravens defense right now. You lose Judon and Ngakwe. Are you guys going to be the same type of unit? And is there a chance you're actually going to be better? Yeah, those guys, those guys are one of a kind. So, you know, we lost some key pieces, but I feel like it's the Ravens defense. So, you know how we're going to come. Uh, we got those new guys uh, up front in the draft. Um, so, uh, there's a lot of stuff to look out look out for. And, um, you know, we just – we won't be that same defense we was, top five defense. But, uh, all the pieces that we got, all the coaching that we got uh, added to the team, you know, it's going to be a big season, and I can't wait. All right, Patrick, let's switch to the offensive side of the ball. Now we have to talk about your quarterback. Now, collectively, the world has been talking about your quarterback, Lamar Jackson, getting a new extension and this deal getting done. And for from what we're hearing, it should be happening soon. Now, I can ask you, should Lamar Jackson be the highest paid quarterback in the NFL? As his teammate and a guy that knows his talent, you're going to say, of course, Nate. He, yeah, he should. But I'd rather ask you, why? Why should Lamar Jackson be the highest paid quarterback in the NFL? Uh, every week we go in, you know they're preparing for Lamar just to stop him running the ball and throwing the ball. I don't care what anybody says. They could do that running back talk all they want. Lamar's a great quarterback, and he knows it, and our team knows it. So mm -hmm. I feel like he, he will get the payment. I feel like he deserves the payment. And everybody around the league respects him. So, you know, as players talk, everybody respects him as a player. Everybody respects him as a person. So, um, you know, he proved what he needs to prove, and, you know, he will continue to keep proving people wrong. So I feel like he does. Mm. That's an MVP. Should be paid that way. I agree. Uh, Patrick, great to see you as always. I don't know if you saw this video of your teammate Kevin Zeitler over the weekend. If not, I'm going to show it to you right here. He is doing pass blocking drills while his lovely wife was sitting there in labor. He's like, hey, babe, hey, babe, record me doing this. What do you think of that kind of dedication? I think it's a little much. What would your coach think of this dedication, Patrick? Uh, I know our coach would be like, are you crazy doing that in the, in the room with her? But, uh, <laughs> I mean, why not? Uh, you, got, you got time on your hands. So, if she if she cool with it, then why not? Uh, you know, he, he seems like a pretty focused guy in the locker room all the time. So, I, 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 could, I could see him doing that in the, in the delivery room. Why not, Patrick? Uh, I don't know. Maybe go get me a popsicle or go get me uh, rub my feet or just leave me alone. She would have asked. Those are just a couple of reasons. <laughs> She would have asked. That's she did. Yeah, she did look pretty happy. She was chilling. She was fine. It was great. No big deal. Okay, here's my real question for you. You wore number 48. You switched it. Players can switch now. Uh, you wore 48 your rookie season. You changed to six. I ask you, 
Did you think about or did you have a conversation with Lamar? Because we all know you rock that eight at LSU. I did. Jokingly, I did have a conversation with Lamar. And, uh, you know, it, it was a talk. It was a good talk. But, uh, you know, I was all focused on the season and, you know, the number. It was like a side thing. And um, a single digit was open. So I took it. And that, that's all it really is. Um, you know, it's just well, where we're from, we call. He, <laughs> he, uh, he was just like, you know, if you pay for it, we good. So I was like, all right, how much? He told me. I said, no, nah, I'm good. <laughs> Nobody got money like that but you, so. <laughs> Quick conversation with Lamar Jackson. Yeah. Uh, so number six it is. That's cool. And we appreciate that. It's going to be a cool jersey. It'll sell in that Baltimore area and hopefully nationwide. But the show that nationwide took the, the world by storm a couple years ago was the Queen's Gambit. Your last name is Queen. We're going to have some fun with you, Patrick. We're going to do something called Patrick Queen's Woo! Gambit. And we are going to ask you a question. And then in classic chess form, you are going to respond with your opening move. So if I were to say to you that the AFC North goes through the Steelers in 2021, what would be your first move? Beating them twice this year. Simple as that. Uh, if that's how they feel, and then we're gonna we're gonna see what the path come on. Here we go. Mm. Hey, hey Sh Shrags, I call that a speed rush right there. Um, all right, so uh, we we know we know that you, we know that you're a Marvel fan, right? Last time you were on the show, you told us, and you said that Hawkeye is your favorite Avenger. So if somebody were to say that Hawkeye is the worst Avenger, what's your defense? Like, what would be your first move? He's a he's a regular human doing what the superhero do, banging with the superhero. So uh, you got to give it to him. Like he just got a guy with arrows, and he did a lot of stuff in Endgame to keep that uh, Avengers team afloat. So <laughs> I give I'll pass off to him because a regular human. That's not, real. Not supposed to be possible. All right, Patrick. I'm That's taking it a little talk. personal. <laughs> I'm going to take it a little personal here. I am a big sister to a little brother, and I have been told that you have three big sisters so let's say someone says a little brother is not necessarily the person you want to be dating what's your opening move to that line oh that's so tough oh i just i just have to show up i can't really do anything about it that's how they feel that's how they feel the only thing i could do is just you know show them different try to you know try to persuade them a little bit but i'm not gonna stress it at all if that's, they, if that's how they feel then probably they don't deserve me in that point then Okay, that. That's a good okay. answer, Patrick. But wait, wait, let me give you another one. You tell them all that your big sisters trained you well and you know exactly how to put the There we go. Yeah. If we're in that situation, then they make sure I already know that. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's the next okay. move. He's two moves ahead. What's happening right now? <laughs> that's rook to king, yes. All right, Patrick, thank you. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Can't wait to see you in August when maybe Coach Harbaugh will go a little easier on you. Maybe? Mm, probably not. Not likely. <laughs> All right. Well, we will he see you nah. this fall. Thanks so much for the time. Thank you all for having me.